Hello everybody, I'm here today to show you how to make a silhouette out of a photo. I've done this um, for uh, three of my girls. Um, I've hung them on the wall and I've also made scrapbook pages out of them. Um, and as you know, we've adopted last year and so now I need to make one for my other daughter. And I thought I would um, just show you really quickly how I'm going to do that, in case you would like to do it. Um, so I took a picture of her. Um, a profile picture of her um, against was somewhat white background. I really wanted her face to stand out um, as much as possible and this was the best one I could get as you can imagine with a two-year-old it wasn't the easiest thing in the world. But this is what I got and this is what I'm going to work with. So I'm going to zoom in on her face here um, and I'm going to use the magnetic lasso tool um, you should be able to use this in Photoshop Elements as well as the full version of Photoshop. So I'm just going to start um, down here by her collar and it's going to automatically grab um, the outline of her face as much as it can, you know. Um, oh, let me start over. I wanted to zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so here we go. See a little bit better. So I'm just going to go outline her face as much as possible. If I think I made a mistake, if I, I don't like where it grabbed, I can hit the backspace button and it will kind of undo. And then I can use the mouse to click where I, I might see where it, um, you know, works better. I can use, I can click or I can just kind of drag over it and it will grab what it thinks or I can use the mouse to grab what I think would be best. So I'm just going to go around her face. If I make a mistake or if it, I think it makes a mistake, I'll just hit the backspace key. It's going to go around. And if I hold down the space bar button, I can grab and move up her face so I can still get a good... I'm not going to include that little poof of hair there because that kind of was not not really normal for her face. I'm going to use the backspace key there to back up some of what I what it had grabbed because I didn't really like it. I want it to be somewhat smooth around her head. Um, I don't really like that bump. I don't really want the bump of hair. So I'm going to keep it smooth. Looks pretty good. I'm going to leave that out too because that's her hair was quite messy the day I took this picture. Probably could have done a better job of combing her hair on this day. And go down, just hit the space key to move down while I'm working. See, sometimes I'm, I'm just dragging it and then sometimes I'm clicking the mouse. And then I'm just going to go down her back a little bit. Oh, I kind of want to go this way a little bit more. Um, and then I'm just going to cross over here. And then click to connect. And then you can see it's selected. Now, if you zoom in, some spots might be a little bit... Um, click, click on the Move tool and zoom in here. Some of the spots might be a little bit rough, and I want it to be a little bit smoother. So what I'm going to do... Just click, uh, click there. Sorry, <clears throat> image adjustment. Or sorry, select modify and then smooth. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try about 20 pixels to smooth that out. And you can see it smooth some of that out. Okay, now I have my outline of her face. I'm going to make a new layer and paint that layer black. And there you can see I have my silhouette of her. And all I have to do is hide that and I have a silhouette. So what I can do is save that. You can save it as a PNG. Um,
for future use. And then you can use that to either make a page, digital scrapbook page, or maybe to make something on your wall. And I'm just going to show you really quick. Um, I'm going to make an eight. Well, I'm going to make it eight and a half by eleven so that I can print it on my home computer. <clears throat> um, just going to drag it over here, resize it. So what I think would be a good size for the page. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm battling a cold. Okay, so I'm gonna, I've am i already picked out my paper that I want to use. So I'm just going to drag my paper on there. Put it below. I'm going to use that for the background. And then I'm going to use this paper for her face. For her silhouette. And there you can go. Just use it like a clipping mask, control G or control G, depending on what version you're using. And then go to her, to make it look more realistic, um, go to the clipping mask and you can add um, a simple shadow. And there you go. Um, I like to use pattern paper for the background and a more solid paper for the silhouette, maybe with a little bit of a pattern. Um, just so that it stands out a little bit more. Anyway, I hope that helps you make a silhouette um, of your children, animals, um, anything that you would like.